Sports presents Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Another episode of Benning Bites. I'm all over the place, so like, don't mind me. Uh, uh, crazy last oh, 20 hours. Uh, it takes a village. That's what I just keep telling myself. Um, and 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 before I say anything, just kind of be cognizant. Keep keep an eye out, like on people that you for people that you care about or you know that have value um, in your lives. Just ask them. Say, hey, how are you doing? Things good? Any anything I can help you with today? You know, maybe. Sit down and talk if you have time, right? And 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 sometimes we just need to make time for those people that we care about. So that's that's just my PSA, and it's kind of on the heels of being all emotional about the news of my former coach coming back. Which um, I made it through most of the show yesterday, or the segment. Uh, I didn't finish a couple points about Trev, but. Um, I am I am extremely excited, and I think you have you guys have no idea um, how much I just want Nebraska to to put together something that resembles a successful program because I think all the pieces, at least on the periphery, are starting to line up. Right, I I I I think. There's a there's a shared purpose. I think there's a common vision. I think we have competent coaching with competent leadership. We haven't had that combination at the same time in 20 years. Uh, some would say a few, a little longer than 20 years. But if 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 we can we can have a a product on the field that I think you can kind of rally around as a fan base and that we can be proud of and the the staff gets a little momentum could be onto something right and i truly believe that because i think everything else is starting to line up you talk about or i talk about or we talk about controlling the controllables man that is the core who this staff is because what does it mean to control the controllables? Listen, you can control your your work ethic. Like that's not something that is that is that somebody else controls. You do. Uh, you can control whether you hold people accountable. You can control whether you're on time. You can control whether how you can control stating a message. You can control telling the truth they're starting to dominate the controllables and i'm just telling you you listen to anybody that is a successful business person a successful educator when you start to dominate the controllables the rest just seems to to fall in place and i really mean that if we really sat back and said Of the things that I control, am I the master of those? It sounds, oh, here we go with the simple and easy, but it's another analogy, right? It sounds simple, but it's not easy. We're rushing out of the house and we're late. Being late is a controllable. If you're four minutes late leaving the house and you know that that's you, Start the routine four minutes earlier. Seems easy, right? But yet every other day we know people we or we are those people. Oh, man, I was laid out of the house this morning. See, that's not dominating the controllables. But just imagine if you did. How smoother, how much more smooth it would be for you. That's kind of where I'm at with this staff. You, you can't control the way the ball bounces or whether a flag is going to stay in a pocket or not, but you can control lining up correctly. You can control knowing a formation. Am I on or am I off the line of scrimmage? You can control getting a play in on time. 
you can control managing a play clock. Like, and I use those specific examples as progression down the road, but that's what I'm talking about, right? Because that's where we've kind of dropped the ball in game when you're losing close games. But it starts with pre-practice. Pre-practice and dominating the controllables is how are we dressed? We, we, did we do what we're told? Were we where we were supposed to be? I say this 18 times a week to our guys. Where am I and what am I doing? Why do I say those things to young people? Because it pract- you practice taking self-inventory. Because our self-awareness is not always where it needs to be. And if it was really good, you'd be bordering on close to operating at a maximum level. Now, is it a little too myopic to think like that? I don't think so. Let's challenge ourselves. Where am I and what am I doing? Where am I and what am I doing? Because when you start to, again, dominate the things that you can control, life takes a different turn. It doesn't guarantee success, but it does put you in a position where you have to hit a lot less curveballs. Yeah, you don't have to deal with the unexpected. And don't give anybody else any power to have control over the, how your day's going. You maximize you, and the rest will start to fall into place. I'm telling you, sure as I'm sitting here, that's how this staff operates. Early in the building, late to leave. So guess what you can't say? Well, I came and you weren't here. Oh, yeah, I was. I was in my office. Ah, Take that BCD right out of it. No blame, complain, deflect. Oh, well, you, I, you didn't tell me that I had to be. Oh, yes, I did. That's, it was scrolling on, you, you know, the, the computer, though. We sent those to your iPads. Did you not check that message? Oh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't get it. Well, it was sent. It was sent right here at 1125. When you dominate the controllables, you give yourself a chance. Just try it. Pick like, pick like two or three things that you, that you think you can control. I'll give you a tough one, but very simple in concept. Easy. Easy. Simply drink eight glasses of water a day. You know you'd be better for it, and you can control that. Simple concept. I'm going to get my 64 ounces of water. I just use this as a rough example. How many of us could actually pull that off every day? But it's a controllable. It is absolutely a controllable because you can dictate the outcome. And I'm just telling you, man, as tough as life can be sometimes, that's really all we can ask for is to be able to, to, to have control, as much control over the desired outcome as possible. Try it. It'll be fun, and the world would be a lot nicer place to be. We wouldn't complain near as much if we dominated the controllables. It's what this staff is after, and I'm here for it. I can tell you that right now. Uh, however you get us, Google, Apple, Spotify. Make sure you're paying attention to the show. Uh, get my man Andrew Rogers. He's at Andrew Rogers TV. It's Coffee and Cream. We'll be on 590 YouTube television. Uh, be a part of what we're doing. Give us a call, 888-638-4876. It's another episode of Benning Bites.